Myanmar, former Burma, is a Southeast Asian country. It borders India to the west and China and Thailand to the east. The total population of the country is 54 million, whereas Yangon and Mandalay are the cities with a population of more than 1 million. Access to school education is not granted for every child, in particular for those living in rural areas. This is the challenge the Good Shepherd Sisters in Mandalay are facing. We are a congregation which is called Our Lady of Charity of the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd Sisters are present in 72 countries all over the world, including eight locations in Myanmar. Our mission is to empower women and girls to resist all forms of violence against them. We work in prevention, protection and reintegration. <laughs> Girls who grow up in small villages in Myanmar don't have the opportunity to find a job after they went to school. Some even don't have the chance to go to school. They don't have any job prospects in their hometown. That's why many of the girls are at risk for human trafficking. Often they are sent to Thailand, China, Singapore or Malaysia where they have to work under bad conditions and for little money. The mission of the Good Shepherd Sisters is to fight human trafficking. In our center, we accommodate up to 40 girls who are at risk for human trafficking. They are about 18 to 25 years old. They get trained to either become a beautician, to work in a sewing shop or they learn English. Besides, they are taught about the risks of human trafficking, about life and circumstances which may occur in it. The Good Shepherd Sisters transmit values how to treat one another and to take responsibility. Every girl can live her own religion. There are Christian girls, but also Buddhist girls in the center. After one year in the center, the sisters help the girls to find a job or to qualify for university. Furthermore, the sisters run a petition shop and a sewing shop where some of the girls find a job. The sisters also generate income by selling self-made products such as shampoo, soap or jewelry. They also sell coffee for farmers in very remote areas. My name is Scholastica. I am 25 years old and I am from Chiquin Village, which is 18 hours drive from Mandalay. Once upon a time, 10 years one company. Much better. I'm not coming. Me too. It is very difficult for me to find a job in my hometown. That's why I am happy that I got the opportunity to learn English here in Mandalay. So the narrator is the one who tells the story. You understand it? Yes. He's outside and he's not uh, interacting with the, in, the, in the play. In the evening, we sing together after having dinner. On the weekends, we can attend dancing or musician classes. Yes. What we also focus on is to have children from slum areas. Children from slum areas don't have access to education. With the support of the sisters, some of these children get education by teachers who go to the slums every day and teach next to the street or even on the train tracks. We are only able to fulfill our missions with donations, such as financial donations or donations in kind. 
Either individuals or companies support the projects. One example is a German cosmetics company which sends two beauticians twice a year to the center. They train girls who want to become professional beauticians themselves to make a living out of it in the future. is to teach English to children. My dream is to become a nurse. A nurse. A nurse. My dream is to earn my own money. To become an accountant. An accountant. A business woman. A business woman. My dream is to be a photographer. My dream is to become a hotel manager. A hotel manager. My dream is to become a tourist guide. I'm a dancer. A famous chef. A famous painter. My dream is to sew a nice traditional dress for my mother. Every girl has her own dream. Please help us to make their dreams come true.